With lodging, day camp, rehab, and even a swimming pool, sounds like the perfect place for a vacation. But, well, don't just pack your bags yet. Leandria Michael has all of the doggone details on this month's Small Business Spotlight. This month, we're visiting Von Trapp Animal Lodge, the perfect place to bring your furry family for where lodging, daycare, and rehab. The owners here saw a need in the community, and they filled it. But first, they made a quick stop to SBAC to help with the construction of their building. Now that great idea is a reality. Let's check it out. So we have um, our boarding area, all of our dogs that are here for boarding are also part of daycare, um, unless they're in our zen area. Um, we have an outdoor pool, which a lot of people like and the dogs like. Um, and then we have the rehab side of things as well. Um, and so we can offer a lot of our older dogs that are here for daycare or boarding benefit from the rehab stuff. And then the rehab patients will oftentimes go in daycare and get socialization. So um, I think it's just a unique business model. Tell us about your uh, relationship with SBAC. So I went to them when I had kind of a vision of what I wanted. I met with Becky Brownlee at first and just kind of threw out my idea. Um, and then she kind of helped lead me along, you know, the way of making a business plan, going through that, and then um, just taking, you know, baby steps towards um, kind of making the, the vision a reality. Um, and I did take one of their business classes too, like a mini, a mini course, and that was super helpful as well. And I also met um, some other entrepreneurs in the Savannah area, and it was nice to kind of bounce ideas off of each other. Nice. Um, tell us about any advice you would have for other entrepreneurs. Um, I would say um, think about what is needed in your area. Um, so I felt like this was a, a you know a big need for our community to have um, a safe place to board your pets and in a rehab aspect side of things too and um, being a vet you know I'm able to kind of treat things as they come along so um, I think just thinking about what's actually needed and then being realistic about your goals um, you know it, it ended up taking more time more money more effort everything like that um, but I you know ran the numbers all different types of way and we kind of knew and had faith that it was going to work out um, but just trying to be, you know, true to your vision, but also realistic, and then also thinking about what, you know, the community actually needs. If you need financing for your small business, visit the folks at the Small Business Resource Center at 111 East Liberty Street, or check them out online, sbacsav.com. I'm Leandra Michael, and this is your SBAC Small Business Spotlight. Thank you very much, Leandra. I like that story a lot.